Anyway, we're going to talk about two of your former teammates. I think you would have played with both of them. Maybe one of them, actually, certainly. Mark Noble. Yeah. Known really well. Jack Declan. Obviously, there's been a story on the West Ham website. Uh, Declan Rice has been speaking about Mark Noble. Um, some really nice words, actually. So, first of all, there's been a couple of quotes. Uh, Declan Rice says, Honestly, if Nobes weren't around, I don't think I would have been as successful as I've been at West Ham. And I said, You played with Mark Noble, been there his whole career. Influential captain, one of the best captains you ever played with? Uh, he weren't captain when I played. Who was the captain? Nigel Ryokoko. So, he took over from Nigel? He took over from. Who did you take over from? Lucas Neal. Was you there then when he became captain? No, I wasn't there. I, I was gone by the time he, he took over. Did you, over did you from, play with Noble? Yeah, I played with Noble, but he took over from uh, Noble. Do you know who Mark Noble is? Oh, leave off, you. <laughs> leave off. <laughs> but yeah, he's, um, Jack will know. He, he's fantastic. You just got to look at what um, Jesse Lingard said about him. When he came to, to West Ham, when Jesse Lingard came to West Ham, they was in the car together and he tried to pick up his phone and, and talk on the phone and Noble said, what are you doing, bruv? <laughs> you know, you know, it, it, at West Ham you talk it's not about social media you talk you know well, and that was something that, that was he like that even when he weren't captain yeah yeah now on it, he, he's I'd go as far as saying he's the best captain that I've had what Mark Noble yeah so who would you cap better than Sesk it's different in you're terms looking of, at like a player yeah. you're looking like the way yeah, you I mean, say you're looking like a player no, but Sesk I, was probably the best player no but I want influential yeah Mate, even now, like I'll pick up the phone to Nobes and I talk to him, ask for his advice. He's like, honestly, he's like Proper. a like a big brother. Do you know what I mean? But do you know what I would say? West Ham breed players like that. People that come through the youth team always look after the ones that come beneath them at West Ham. It's like it's ingrained in you to do that. Always. Yeah. Well, yeah. listen. These are some of the quotes. I mean, he says here, you can speak to him about anything, as you just said there, Jack. Yeah. Uh, if if I do anything wrong or something wrong in training, he will tell me straight away. It makes me think, wow. He's still on me. He teaches me how good, to, how to be a good person around the place, how to be with the lads, and if anything needs to be said in the changing room, you've got to say it. I feel like I couldn't have had it anyone better to guide me through. Does that sound like the same character? Mark 100% Noble? sounds like Nobs. 100%. And do you think Declan Rice said he... he I, mean, I can't see him being at West Ham for the entire his career. I think he's... And there's no disrespect to West Ham. That he, I think he, he needs to go to that next level. But can you see kind of similarities when you look at Declan to Mark Noble? Well, I think what what Nobes gets right is that balance. Like, he's everyone's friend. He's he he'll talk to everyone. He, he, I mean, everyone, the staff around the, the the training ground. But like Dex said, when when something needs to be said, he'll say it in training. If you're not doing it right, like you'll be chatting to him before training, thinking you're best mates. If you're not on it in training, he's on you. Like and and then you get off the training pitch, and it's all all is all is forgiven, really. And sounds like me, doesn't it, Benny? No. What do you mean? <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Was he on you, Benny? Uh, do you know, fair to him, he was on everybody. But I yeah. think, because he was a captain at the time, Lee Catamol. Yeah. Yeah, but no, nah, I think he got on him over there, and got on everybody regardless. He didn't really need the armband, which pains me to say. But, uh, yeah, he was, he was like said, a captain I, without the armband. I said, mm. it, but that's how he was brought up in West Ham. That's exactly how Jack's explained Nobes. I was like that. It was just in me to be like that. I yeah. think it was the, the DNA of, of growing up in West Ham. Yeah, well, I want to talk about some of the other the good captains you've had. So, I mean, I think you've had people like Van Persie, Gallas, would have been mm. one. Vermaelen, was he captain when you was there yeah, as well? Vermeulen. Sesk. I mean, who who Arteta. was this? the best? Who was the captain at Bournemouth as well? Steve Cook. Uh, actually, when I was there the first time, it was Simon Francis. Yeah, good captain. Um, then second time was Steve Cook, good captain. Yeah. The best, like all different. Like the best player was probably Sesk. Um. But the best in terms of like being a natural leader, Nobes. Out of all of them? All of them. And on you, you about you, captains? Lucas Neal was good. A very good captain. Um, what I liked about Lucas Neal is he brought the group together. You know, and, and remember we tried to do this at, um, at Sunderland when things weren't going well, was incorporating the staff. Remember, like, if we won games, we'd, we'd take some of the bonus yeah. in cash put it together, put a, 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 a pot together and at Christmas time and at the end of the season we'll give the the, the staff who ain't on bonuses yeah. whether we whether we finish in the league they would get it'll get shared out amongst them I think stuff like that for me personally incorporating the people that really matter the people mm. that that um, the cooks the cleaners around yeah. the training ground that was a big thing for me so uh, in terms of captain and leading the way I, I'd have to say Lucas Neal okay. What about you Benny? 
Um, it's a tough one, but Matt Holland would be up there for me, just simply because of when I was a youngster coming through at Ipswich Town, and then I went to Charlton. He was there at Charlton as well. He looked after me massively, helped me along the way. Who else the was captain for you? I've had Robbie Keane was a captain. He'd be a good captain, no? Yeah, he was a good captain. Ledley King, proper captain. Yeah. He, Ledley was one of them, though. He didn't have to really say too much, but he just led by Presence. example. Presence. Presence. Like, it was one of them, you look down the, the line and see Ledley there and you go, okay, we've got a chance today. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I know we didn't win that much, but just having Ledley there gave us a better chance. Um, but you said about Luke, Lucas Neal at West Ham, and I want to talk about West Ham this season. Now, of course, they're, they're Europa game really well. Looking for full spot in the Premier League. How would you assess their season? And do you think in this month now, January, they need to go and get some more players to try and maybe kick on a little bit? Yeah, I think uh, this season's been fantastic, especially in Europe. We've like cruised through Europe. Are you a West Ham fan? Of course I am. <laughs> of course I, I am. I don't know if you said that to me. Are you? I thought it was Millwall. Some... What? Oh my <laughs> God. Oh, that's, you just swore at me. You just, you just actually just, you're just swearing at me right now. No, but seriously, uh, let's get back to the serious chat. <laughs> Come on, Benny, you're better than this. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, like West Ham have, have been fantastic this year. The way we've cantered through Europe, the way we have done, you know, we've been good in, in the league. We're in we're, the fact that we're being spoken about being in the top four for me as a West Ham fan is fantastic. Um, we've had a, a, a slight blip over the last month, month and a half, um, but that's due for me. That's due to to uh, injuries. We've got players coming back. Do we need to strengthen? 100% we need to strengthen. We get the right players in and I and I'm, have my full trust in Moyes that he's going to be able to bring the right players in. I think we've got, a, I definitely got, a, we've staken a claim for getting into the top four this year. Jack? Yeah, I don't think they'll, they've got enough to get into the top four. <laughs> I mean, I, I've said it on here before, Moyes is so good at preparing a team Every week, it doesn't matter who they play against. In fact, they actually look better against the bigger teams like Liverpool. They beat at home. I know uh, Chelsea, Chelsea. They beat Chelsea. Yeah, I know Arsenal beat them, but they were in the game, weren't they? Um, yeah, they're, they're, what they're doing in Europe is is unbelievable, and they've got good players. What worries me is how much they rely on Antonio. Yeah, a little bit too much. Need a striker. Yeah, but everyone says that, but I don't think you can replace him. Like what he brings to that team and how good he is for them. Like who who do you bring in who's going to give I think give we, should, we should have signed Tammy in the summer mm. I think we should have signed Tammy in the summer I think that would have gave Antonio a bit of breathing yeah. space you know but I think we should have signed him um, just, I think for me but as a West Ham fan I think it's a case of whilst we're in this moment let's enjoy it Yeah, you know if we finish in if we don't finish the top four but we finish in the top six it's fantastic mm. you know you've got to think a few years ago we were yo-yo we were up and down from from the, yeah. from the Premier League to the Championship. What, what about? Um, I mean, a lot of people have spoke about it. The guy from Blackburn, Ben Brereton Diaz. What about him? I mean, twenty goals he's got this season already. I know Blackburn's in a bit of a funny position because they're trying to chase down the top dude to get in the the playoffs to get into the Premier League. Do they cash in now? Tony Mowbray's already said that if a good effort comes in, he won't stand in his way. What about him potentially going to West Ham? I don't think he. he the way West Ham play and it suits them in Europe. That's why they're doing so well in Europe. Is they sit in. And they hit you on the counter, and they're deadly on the counter. Mm -hmm. Like the European teams can't deal with them with the pace, the power of Antonio. I'm not sure he can do that. Listen, it'd he be does a it great for Chile. For he, does, he does do it for Chile. Does he? What? Yeah, they sit in there and then breaks away. Premier League's different, though, isn't it? By mm. the way, can I just say if Andy Goldstein's talking about Phil Jones after one game, England, is it fair to say we should be talking about Jared Bowen? Maybe getting a shout for England. No, I think listen, he's doing really well, yeah. and he deserves a chance at least in the squad. Mm -hmm. Be around it, see what's going on. Give him a chance to get in front of the manager in training. He's got some serious mm -hmm. competition though in that position. Well, yeah, I'm not has. disputing that, but what he's doing this year, he deserves to be spoken about. No, yeah, the, the manager, England manager, talks about players being picked on form, and if that's the case, then he should be picked at least in the squad. I'm not saying he goes and he plays and he's the answer, but. Get him in training, see see how he does, give him a chance. But we're talking picked on form. Is that really what happens? Well, that's what the manager says. That's what I'm saying. If he if he's being honest, then he should be picked. I'll say so. <laughs> wow.